Oh, Ratatosker is not alone here, but Vulcan is. He's dead. I'm gonna ult up the neck up. We can still fight Ratatosker. I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, you're not getting away, my man. And that's a double kill. What is up, beautiful people? It's Celadon here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Pele in Conquest Jungle. I'm company here by what looks like a Hercules mid. Don't ask me. I don't know. There is nothing happening on the map. We have Chonga in the solo lane. We're playing against what looks like a Rathathoskar Vulcan or Thanatos Vulcan. Okay, Thanatos Vulcan it is. It's fine. Uh, Pele and the jungle, quite strong. You're gonna see it in this game, I hope. Our clear is not very... Not like exceptionally good, but it's pretty decent. We're not gonna be too slow. Oh, our dual lane is struggling already. That's very unfortunate. But yeah, Pele, insane lifesteal with a passive, insane damage, absolute insane burst. One of the highest in the game. Hoping to get a lot of kills this game due to this burst. Even though we are against the Thanatos, who actually can burst pretty well himself. He warded up here. I'm gonna just stand here so he sees that. Your left tower is under attack. Trying to clear now. I'm still here. You can see me. Just chill out. Enemy missing left. Cancel that. Let's try to do the... <laughs> A little back and forth here. Hmm. Is he gonna? Oh, I missed the second one. That's unfortunate. He got the both of them. Rat is out of position. He might not expect my gank here. Because Hercules already took the red. We don't need to be in the middle lane. Let's see. Nope. The damage isn't there. My two isn't there. That was a bad rotation. But it's fine. We can just back here and go for the left camps. Unfortunately, I did not get anything off of that rotation, even though Chonga is not like upset, which is very welcome. He got the totem for it, so I guess we have that going for us. Since Hercules had so much pressure in mid, there was no reason for me to rotate there. But that actually put um, myself behind a little bit in terms of farming, but it's fine. Peli works pretty well from behind, so it's not a big deal. And if uh, Hercules actually gets a hit, he's pretty aggressive in the early game, so not taking off the experience off of him might be a good thing. Gonna drop this blue buff ward up over here just in case. Rado wants to be tricky. Thanks. Enemy missing right. Gonna rotate towards the mid camps here. No eyes on Thanatos. Oh, hello. Can I poke you out a little bit? I think I can. Dan is here, we need back off like big time. Looks like Herx want to fight. Cancel that, man. Didn't get anything. Hercules just doesn't want to fight for the mid camp for some reason. Even though he should be very aggressive, it's early game. Look at the damage, he gets no damage off of these spells. We can just walk in there and murder everybody, but for some reason he's a bit afraid. I played Hercules mid a lot myself, so he should not be as afraid. This kinda defeats the purpose of playing Herc in the mid. It looks like Amir is in a lot of trouble, nothing I can get here. Neath is coming back to lane, I don't want to take that experience, so we're just backing for boost here too. So far, very boring game, but I hope it's gonna get better. We were only able to afford tier 2 boots, unfortunately, so we kind of need to back already, even though we just left the base. Let's do the typical uh, jungle route, and maybe then we will back. We finally get the ultimate. We're not, like, ridiculously outfarmed by Thanatos, but he should be ahead. I made a couple very dumb rotations. Oh, look, Rata is struggling against Chonga. Who might have thought? Somehow, Herc is struggling against the Vulcan, but we're gonna blink in. He should be dead here. Good Aegis. Not sure that it's gonna save you anyway. Yep. 
So we get an Aegis and the kill, which is very welcome. Fortunately, everything is down here, but Honor is boom and half HP. I might actually walk in there and do some stuff. But Neath is nowhere to be found, and Ymir is very low level. I can actually die from this shit. That's an ult. We need to wait for that stun. Mm, I missed my one. That's gonna be bad. Shit, he's like 1 HP. Okay. Herc secured him, but it's totally not worth it for me. Like I said, there was nobody to follow up on the rotation. But I didn't want to have a third rotation that did fuck all. Looks like we lost a red buff to the fact that I rotated and, well, that was quite unsuccessful. I should focus on farming a lot more now because Pele is pretty decent in the game and I'm not getting there in good shape if I keep on doing that, like, if I keep on playing like that. So we need to change our strat and focus on the farming a little bit more. How are you guys doing? Having a good day? How are you guys doing in quarantine? Really bored out? Out of your mind? Because <laughs> we're doing pretty fine overall. Where I live, we started the quarantine pretty early, so overall, nothing major happened. Oh, looks like Dana is ulting the solo lane. We're gonna join that. Uh, good too by Chunga. She's in no trouble. Gonna get him, ult him. Gonna pop this guy up and kill him as well. Good stuff. We finally got some jungle action on our team. Looks like this blue might also be available. Nope, never mind. Nothing here, we're just gonna straight up back. I don't believe that the speed buff is up. I'm gonna ask Chonga to rotate for that blue buff herself. She's in no immediate danger, she can easily do that. And just rotate for the left jungle. Maybe pay a visit to that honor. He was really annoying that last fight. Oh, Thana blinks in. We're gonna join that. That was a bad play, my friend. Tried to hit that lung, didn't succeed. That was... Oh! <laughs> that was all kinds of unfortunate for a wall from Ymir. Not only he completely disengaged me, he also blocked the Hercules ult. But I think that Hercules ult was quite late. So, it's not totally on him. Dropping this blue buff, Ratatoskr is gonna have even more trouble. Yeah, that's down, man. Just go away. Gonna spend a little time dropping this. My speed buff is not coming up just yet. We have an ult, and we have enough mana and everything. We can actually get an ult off of Ratatoskr. Is he gonna die? Because if he keeps up like that, he's dying. I think Chunga will be able to secure. Need to leave the tower. I think I heard Thanados, but I'm too far, and I also have Blink. If he decides to ult, I'm gonna Blink away. And he's gonna have a bad day. I opted for Crusher, by the way. I think Beatstick might still be a good pickup. I don't feel that Yodens is a great pickup for Pelly because you rely a lot on your odd attacks. And attack speed is very welcome. Plus the extra damage from abilities that she does a lot. She has all four abilities that do damage. Oh, hello, Vulcan. Okay, our lung is there too, but we're still gonna try and do some damage. Need to juke that, which we succeed. Please freeze the man. That's good. He should be dead here. And now we're building into Soul Reaver, into Ability Lifesteal, which is gonna work really well with our passive. So whenever we hit that low HP, we're gonna lifesteal hella ton with everything that we do. And that's usually like the peak performance from Pele. That most of the people who don't know what she exactly does don't really expect. Unfortunately, didn't have enough gold for uh, starting to stacking up that soul eater. Honor's way out of position. We're gonna join the fun. Ymir's hopefully not gonna die before I join in. We need to bait out his jump. He's trying to stun me, which is a good attempt, but he's dead now. 
Ymir's dying in response. Nobody's rotating. We're just gonna straight up fight this man. Oh, that's a good ult. He has to ult. He does. Let's try and juke it. We kind of succeed, but not entirely. Oh, he was stunned by the Neath ult. I forgot about that. I should have killed him here. You cannot fight me. Just go away. Damn it. I kind of derped there. If I had in mind that he's gonna get stunned on landing, I would have totally fought that. We are 5, 1, and 3. We're part of, part of 8 kills out of 11, which is about as good as the participation as you can expect. It's like almost peak performance. Right at Oscar's way out of position, we need to take his ults. Yep, that's the ult. He took a lot of damage still, so he's not a threat for anyone anymore for quite some time. But you need to do that, you need to take his ult so he won't be able to proxy like that and be annoying in my jungle. Gonna drop this and probably pay a visit to Honor, I think. Now nah, there's a fight in mid, we gotta join that. That's Vulcan all being down. Ymir's doing a great job, we're gonna ult in. That's Thana. That's Vulcan. This guy should also die. Well, Herc took my triple kill, but it's not a big deal. I'm totally okay with that, there's no kill still in smite, don't be stupid. Oh, I took his stacks, which is unfortunate. But I'm kind of also building stacks, so chill out, man. Oh my god, what is this honor doing? I don't have blink, I don't think I'm gonna be there in time. He really wants that tower, huh? He's not backing. He's so greedy. Oh, he saw me. He's in trouble. That was so greedy and so not worth it, by the way. The towers give so little gold now that it's totally not worth it. Neath is slow in the base, so we're gonna grab this wave as well. I don't know why she's standing there just AFK, but if she does that, I'm gonna grab that experience. Our soul leader is about to get stacked. There's a fight in mid. Unfortunately, Hercules goes down. We're 7 and uh, 1 and 5, which is pretty good. That's about as good as it gets, really. Oh, the mid tower. They want to really want that mid tower. We're gonna get the Vulcan here. We're gonna get probably everyone here, honestly. Oh, he healed up. That's unfortunate. We need to go for the beat stick soon. Or maybe even a toxic blade. I think beat stick is a better choice for Peli. Her ability is really easy to secure. This is where you die, man. Look at that damage. Like, I do so much. I am level 16 in 14 minutes, by the way, in case you didn't notice. And the enemy Thana is level 11. Ooh, there's a buff. I think Erlong just warded it, but it does nothing for him. He just see me take it like he can enjoy, and I'm gonna straight up murder the man. Don't have a rolled, so we might be a little bit unsafe here. Oh, hello. I'm gonna still do a lot of damage to you. That's beats. Okay, okay. Good ult, good ult. Oh, look at that. Oh, Hercules, my man. That was not optimal. So the thing that I wasn't paying attention that apparently enemy honor is pretty much huge and our need is an AFK bot. So this kind of evens out the game and the fact that I'm very, very much ahead of the enemy Thanatos. Our Neath just stays in lane, does no damage to the tower or rotates for the fight mid. So like double unfortunate, she literally just stood in the jungle doing, I don't know, nothing. They get the gold fury, but I'm gonna grab this uh, Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. There goes the gold fury. I took half of my HP, but I can still fight Rathet Oscar. He tries to proxy yet again. We're gonna take his ult yet again. Am I standing on the ward? I'm not. Okay. He has to ult. I'm not gonna burn any of my cooldowns for that. Oh, look at it. Travel with him. Yeah, I should keep in mind that they have Dana and Rathet Oscar who, when ulted by Neath, lands with a really long stun that we can actually murder them. Be 
I don't think that's up. It shouldn't be. Yep. Hello. Oh, he... we can still kill him. Nope. Oh, unfortunate. Big unfortunate. We got the Vulcan, but I did not anticipate Thanos coming from behind. Hercules just pushes him and instead of Alton immediately committing his cooldown and dealing a lot of damage to the rest of them, not taking sight to the face, he does not ult, holds onto his ult for no reason and manages to die. So his excuse was because he got knocked up, which is not true. <laughs> so just in case you didn't notice, go watch him back. Ma made a straight up making up excuses. Oh, Ratatoskr is not alone here, but Vulcan is. He's dead. I'm gonna ult up the neck up. We can still fight Ratatoskr. I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, you're not getting away, my man. And that's a double kill. Which opens up some possibilities for our team. Like killing this Thanos in mid as well. We can fight this if my team groups up, but Neath is AFK in her lane. Let's knock him up and do some damage. Oh, he know. He knows. Okay. Need to juke Thana. I heard him. He might be ulting. I'm gonna die if he does. So backing off big time. Neith gets sol uh, soloed again. She's four levels behind trying to solo honor, which is a bad decision. Let's see if we can kill him. He might be quite annoying. My team is coming here. I don't want to risk it. He might actually murder me. He's level 20. Just hold him here. That's his ult. He's out of range. And now he's dead. Yeah, he, he's looking at me, but it, it's not going to happen. And there we go. There was no need for me to risk it. If he made a good play, I might have actually died. But this way, I saw that my team is rotating and more than enough to kill him twice. So I just made sure that he's not backing away anywhere and stays out of position and voila. Oh, Thana's out of position here, but we, oh no, four people. We need to like fight big time, but Nithith and Hercules are doing God knows what. I think I'm just gonna rotate for my speed buff then. The amount of words on the map is really frustrating to see. I have enough gold for Heartseeker, which is a big spike in damage. But we need to make sure that they're not doing fire here. I think I would rather buy for his heart seeker anyway. And also put down a couple wars while I'm at it. We're 11, 3, and 7, which is 18 kills out of 22. So basically the whole game is on my shoulders almost entirely. They're doing the pyro and my team is not doing the gold fury, unfortunately. They're not doing anything, unfortunately. They're like not willing to commit to anything. This should be down. The tower is one hit, so if we actually start this fight... Okay, we're blinking in. Oh, righty then. Apparently I tried to blink into a wall. That's a big misplay. But we're gonna do the same thing in three seconds here. Neath disengaged the gold here, which is unfortunate. Looking for Tana here. I'm in trouble, I'm dead. Yep. Changa's in uh, AFK in solo lane and Neath is doing the fucking red buff. That's infuriating. Let's hold her. We can. Yeah, we can attach the minions. He's dead. That's good. We need to focus on her here. He is the equivalent of myself on the enemy team. We're able to put him down. We can do a lot of things. 
He's just jumping. Uh, and he went the, the other way, unfortunately. I couldn't reach him. So we're gonna just kill this man. Are we? He's still getting stunned. He's juking the wrong way. We got him. That's honor. I can go around and maybe pay him a visit. Nope. Let's just grab this tower. It's fine. Vulcan now has anti heal something I should keep in mind for later. You saw the Divine Rune icon. Oh, hello, red buff. Gonna just get some damage on the enemy jungle and then take the tower. Since we have an idiot in the dual lane on the ADC. I'm gonna keep in mind that I need to focus on the structure damage because you should not expect structure damage over this guy. Yeah, that's the tower that stood there for 25 minutes. Unfortunately, it's not here. That is actually out of position. I don't think he realized how fast I can actually murder him. It might be easily doing fire giant at this point. No nope. honor is in middle lane. Gank middle lane. Enemy ultimate down. Gank middle lane. Oh, he's out of position. We should fight. That's his beast. That's his jump. Oh, I didn't reach him. That's very, very bad. That was super fucking unfortunate that I didn't reach him with the ult. Just like one step away. I can't believe we're actually gonna lose this game, huh? Oh my god, get farmed, idiot. I got so fucked by this hunter just now. Look at these people. Look at these boys. Unable to kill two hit enemy. That's just ridiculous. He's he's actually out. So all what enemy team needs to do right now, they need to wait for honors to respawn. Fortunately, my team was able to chase him down while he was running away and being silly. So they need to group up, wait 30 seconds, group up and just walk into a titan and we'll lose this game no matter what they do. Just the Thana Rat Tosker ulting in and Vulcan putting his ultimate down should be more than enough for them to finish the game. The only thing I can do here is be super aggressive and start a dumb fight somewhere in the middle of the map hoping, just hoping that I can kill a bunch of people before. There's Thana. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, Erlang is putting himself in danger. I'm gonna probably die here. I should die here, yeah. They should just walk in. Look at these fucking idiots. Just doing nothing. Ratatosker is ulting too early. He, go he should go for the Titan, but he goes for the players instead. That's a mistake. They should fight this. I don't think they understand. Neath is straight up backing away and standing on the Titan that has two hits, allowing them to enter the room. That Ymir old did nothing. Oh, Honor got outplayed just the same way that he outplayed me. By just going in a straight line on the enemy ADC, even that Neath was able to murder him. Uh, looks like Hercules has hastened Katana for some goddamn reason, I don't know. But right now it serves the purpose, so I guess it's okay. Fortunately, the thing that I tried to do worked for us. I started the fight early, burned a lot of their cooldowns, and instead of going for the Titan, they decided to go for me. There's Thanatos, he should be dead. I'm gonna lifesteal a lot over here. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, we got two of them. I think Chonga can heal me up. And I can lifesteal off of that. Of course they're not gonna allow me to lifesteal, why would they? The whole team is grouped up, the size of Ymir, who doesn't matter anyway. At least we're not gonna get walled off. 
Now, looks like we don't have an in for the Phoenix, but we can go for the Fire Giant. They will be pushing up. It's a trap! Yes! Ultimate is ready! Okay, great stun. Great ult from beneath. I think we can still maybe kill him. Nope. He got saved by the mantle discord, which is unfortunate. They're going for Pyromancer for some reason. I don't know why they're doing this. This should be secured. That is way too far. Honor was just doing the gold fury, so we're taking this fire giant. Our Phoenix is up, our Titans are half HP and healing. Everything looks pretty good again. We have 25 kill participation out of 33. And even in gold and experience. I couldn't think of a, a good pickup considering how much gold I had. So I just opted for a speed pod and another red pod. Because this might run out before I, before I reach the fountain next time. So... I hit for 527, which is nice. This is it. It's now or never. We should rotate through the left lane with the fire giant. Looks like my team actually pays attention for once and they agree with me. Let's see if he pushes up. I'm gonna murder him. Nope. Okay. I should really, really keep an eye for this honor. And if I manage to put him down, there's a good chance that we're gonna... This guy takes the necessary damage. Not an issue. He's now poked out. Now he has to wait for his healing cooldown, which is not optimal. Somebody's gonna get baited by that word. I gotta keep an eye on it. That's Ratatoskr. That's Vulcano. That's just great. That's a big position. Oh, neat. Finally did something this game. We're going in so hard right now. I want this Vulcan big time. My two didn't went off. That's unfortunate. Look at that damage and healing I get. Even with the uh, Divine Rune on me. That should be game. Finally got the Phoenix. We have two people on the enemy team. We have five people on our team. We should win this game pretty easily. Ymir is doing a good job zoning them out, keeping them busy, and that'll be the game. 27 kill participation out of 36. I say that was a pretty decent game. I can't believe that it was so hard for me to actually win this game, but hopefully it was entertaining for you guys. I apologize for being a little salty, but I think you understand. So that Neath is really upset for doing such a poor job, but the kill and the honor actually won us this last fight and the game, so I will let her know in the lobby. So in terms of builds, I'm going into what I thought would be a Jotun's, but Crusher is actually better for attack speed and additional ability damage. We're going into Soul Eater because that's the core item for Pele. Even when they build anti-heal, they have to build anti-heal and you have to build Soul Eater no matter what because it just aligns so perfectly with what she does in her passive. It also gives a lot of power, which you're lo also looking at, and cooldowns as well. Transcendence, same idea, we get a lot of mana, a lot of power and cooldowns down when we stuck it up completely we go for heart seeker for additional percentage damage uh, and brawler beat stick to actually negate a lot of healing from the enemy team ratatoskr uh, is healing in the score as i used by honor or additionally healing when he's low or launching ultimate also healing a lot and thanatos obviously healing immense amounts so that's a very good pickup for me later in the game when we need to secure those kills comparatively to the enemy of thanatos in the jungle that build that build i don't like on the thanatos it doesn't work his gameplay was also pretty lacking we outplayed him on every corner of the game which worked pretty well for me in terms of participation like i said 27 out of 36 that's pretty pretty much as good as it gets it's very hard to get more than two-thirds of the kills because you really cannot be everywhere and i actually was everywhere this game in terms of damage i'm actually not top on the field somehow honor and even vulcan did more damage 
but comparatively I outdamaged the enemy jungle by almost 3 times the amount. Our solo laners about the same damage, supports are all, um, actually getting out damaged by almost twice the amount, mid laners comparatively getting out damaged by almost twice the amount. Despite me being really shitty in early to mid game, she actually did a solid chunk of damage in the late game and is not as drastically out damaged by honor but actually if you drop a couple numbers it might also be considered like twice the amount honor did a really good job on the enemy team in terms of warding meath that was a big target for the ganks obviously has the lowest amount that what will explain why she is such a big target for the ganks and judging by these numbers yeah i'm pretty much carrying this game all by myself nobody on the enemy team is really ahead of the enemy opposition Chunga has some good control over a solo lane, but and but besides that, I was getting salty really fast here because I was doing such a great job and it really amount to nothing. But fortunately, we managed to pull it off and actually win this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. If you like the video, leave a like on the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people, which is much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.